hey guys welcome back to my channel today i thought it would be fun to do a full-on hygiene shop with me i feel like there is lots of new body care that is out for the holidays i really want to try i know tree hut has a couple new holiday scrubs i think at target hopefully i'm here at target first so we're gonna check there but we know that they launched marshmallow lodge in a set but there's also two more scents out for the holidays here so i'm excited to check those out see if target has any other fun body care finds and then victoria's secret has a candied collection that I am very curious about. I usually don't talk about their scents very often, but this collection has me very intrigued. They have a like mint scent, like a mint chocolate scent as well that I have smelled already that I think I'm finally gonna pick up. Um, I have some coupons here because I never like to pay full price for their stuff. Same with Bath & Body Works, obviously. I mean, we've already talked about Bath & Body Works holiday. Maybe we could stop in there and see if there's anything new and then also, we'll check Walmart because they have the new Dove holiday collection as well. So, all of the fun new hygiene finds. We're stopping at Target first, so let's go ahead and get to shopping. Here is the new Tree Hut holiday collection here at Target. Let's go over some of the new scents. So, we have a Berry Bright Sugar Scrub. Also comes with the Whipped Body Butter which it seems like they've been doing that with all the collections now lately and the foaming gel wash as well this says make your next shower berry bright enjoy a rich fruity lather so it's just supposed to be like a berry type of scent and then we also have the winter wonder which it looks like this one just has a scrub i don't know if it's coming in other things so far i'm wondering if this is gonna smell like pine like they had one last year but they never really say, it says enjoy a sweet holiday treat. They never really say like notes or anything. So I'm going to have to smell these and let you guys know. Of course, they do have the candy cane as well, which we kind of already went over. This one they release every year, but I'm excited to smell the new ones. So yeah, the Winter Wonder is definitely more of like a piney, true kind of Christmas tree-ish scent. I think I might skip on that one, but I am really liking this Berry Bright, which I usually don't like fruity scents that much, but this one is very good. So I think I'm just going to grab... Probably just the scrub in this one. I don't think I need the cream or the shower gel. Here's some more new kind of body care stuff they have at Target. Like all these Eco Tools body products. These are body scrubbers. I feel like these have been pretty popular lately instead of like a loofah. And then we have some different masks here, but I'm kind of curious about these by June and Moon. I feel like their scents are very hit or miss, but they have a sugar cookie little set with a whipped soap and these sugar cube scrubs. I feel like last time I bought something similar and it just did not smell that great or just didn't have a strong scent. So I don't know if I will pick it up. Maybe you guys, if you did try it, let me know. I know a lot of you guys try these things. It's $9.99 for the set. They also have a peppermint one. And then I think Dr. Teal's came out with some new scents in their Epsom Soaking Solutions, which is exciting. I really like these, um, just to kind of throw in the bath. They smell so good. I have like an almond one that I really like, but I'm curious about this cozy cashmere that's limited edition. And then we have Winter Eucalyptus. These are all $5, by the way. And then they have a Warm Vanilla, which I'm honestly thinking about getting the Warm Vanilla. It's supposed to help kind of soothe the muscles a little bit and just, it's great just to relax, chill for the night. So I think I'm gonna grab the Warm Vanilla to try. The Cozy Cashmere sounds really nice as well. Okay, so we found the Tree Hut Scrubs at Target. That was so exciting. I ended up picking up more than I needed from Target. Honestly, I found a bunch of snacky stuff. Like they had all the Christmas snacks out. I got some hot cocoa whipped cream that I was looking for. So I guess if you wanna see that, I could show you at the end of the video and some like sugar cookie pop tarts. So just a couple things, but yeah at the end of this video i'm going to show you guys all the new body care and hygiene stuff that i picked up next up we're actually at walmart we're going to go check out the new dove collection which i'm so excited they finally did a gourmand collection the holiday treats i think it's called there's like a sugar cookie scent in there which i'm so excited because it comes in like their scrubs and everything which i love dove scrubs so yes i'm excited to go see it and see if they have anything else new and fun i i don't know i might do like a separate Walmart video as well because I haven't done a big Walmart Christmas video yet so we'll see also it's like such a nice day 
here it's like 60 degrees I'm literally sweating <laughs> in this huge chunky sweater but like last week when I was out it was like 30 degrees I had my winter coat on so it's like such a big change November is such a weird month for the weather here but yeah let's go ahead and Walmart and see what we can find here is the Dove holiday treats collection they have a whole little end cap for it and they have scrubs soap and body wash here there's no lotions or anything like that but Dove's just so affordable $6.97 for these scrubs this is the cinnamon pumpkin pie which looks delicious also they have a peppermint bark and then sugar cookie which I'm so excited about of course they also have the matching body washes for $6.97 in all three cents and then here is the little bar soaps they have it comes with two and they also have hand wash as well so really exciting the bar soaps and hand wash is $3.97 but I cannot wait to get these home and try them out and let you guys know how they are and also they do have the soft soap holiday cookie scent to back this one comes back every year it's not really one that I pick up because I always love the native sugar cookie that's just my favorite which I don't see that one here they have the lotion though but this one just reminds me of Bath & Body Works like warm vanilla sugar so I don't know I just don't really get too excited about it. So they actually do have this whole native holiday section here but I just don't see the sugar cookie body wash or anything. They have like warm cider and cinnamon, a ton of the candy cane one from them. I did see sugar cookie deodorant though. So they do have that. They also have a cute little mini one, which is adorable. And yeah, it does come in like shampoo, conditioner too, but yeah, it's just like the candy cane one. So let me know if you guys do see the sugar cookie shower gel at Walmart, because I just do not see it anywhere. Okay, this is so cool, but it looks like they have dossier or dossier perfume sets here. There's a Discover set with their best sellers. The Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb dupe, YSL Libra dupe, and Gucci Bloom dupe. That's $30 in like smaller sizes. And then this is like an entire Tom Ford one for $30 with their Lost Cherry dupe, the Tobacco Vanilla dupe, and then Soleil Blanc. And then they also have this one, which I think is the same. Oh, wait, no, this has different ones. This has the dupe for Baccarat Rouge, Black Opium, and Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. So these are amazing sets here they also have a men's one as well technically they call it masculine <laughs> with a sauvage dupe the chanel blue and aqua de joya dupe or geo so that's really exciting something new from them some more perfume sets they have here for $40. Always recommend the Sweet Tooth Sabrina Carpenter. This one actually has a lip gloss in it too. The full size and then like a travel size. So good. And as always they have a ton of the Ariana Grande sets. And the celebrity fragrances like Paris Hilton, Dolly Parton. I think there's supposed to be a Britney Spears set too, but I don't see that one yet. Okay, got the Dove goodies. I decided to try one of each scent and they actually had a lot of gift sets so i kind of want to come back next week and film like a full-on walmart christmas video so that's kind of the plan i just went over a few different like body care sets they have right now now uh there is a starbucks across the street and i have not had any of the holiday drinks yet and i kind of want to try something new i know the sugar cookie Latte is always so popular, but I think they have something gingerbread, which I'm really curious in trying. So I might get that today. I never really go to Starbucks that much. I feel like I only go like a couple times when they have like their fall drinks and then their holiday drinks. Just cause I don't have one like where exactly I live, but I am so curious about this gingerbread latte and I think they have a brownie peppermint cake pop that sounds really good, so I might get that as well. So. Let's head over to Starbucks and try a fun holiday drink to go with today's holiday theme. We got our Starbucks. They have the fun like holiday cups now. And I decided to try the gingerbread chai. I was hoping they would have like a gingerbread latte, but I do like a good chai as well. And it's with oat milk as well, I forgot to mention. I feel like I don't like it as much as like their pumpkin chai that they do. Maybe it's the oat milk that's throwing me off. Um, it's a like, not a love. But I'll have to try some more of their holiday drinks whenever I'm up here. I do like their caramel brulee one. That one's always a good one. I did grab 
the peppermint brownie little cake pop too which sounded so good it has all these little crystals on it now that is delicious <laughs> just needed a little snack a little pick me up but yeah i don't know if i like this gingerbread drink let me know what your favorite Starbucks holiday drink is that I should try next. All right, we did make a pit stop at Victoria's Secret because I wanted to just check out their new scents and see if there was anything that I wanted since I had some coupons. So this is their holiday collection. They have a few of these scents here. This is the Santal Berry Silk. I do like this collection probably a little bit more. This is Sugar Plum Fig. They also had the Vanilla Amber Bourbon, which I thought was okay and the ginger apple jewel so a lot of just like the same kind of fruity floral scents that they always do i really was curious about this candied collection though so they did all their signature scents in this candied line which sounds delicious like pure seduction we also had the love spell candied which i did like but it's like how many love spell things do i really need I don't know. I just wasn't like overly impressed. I think my favorite one was definitely the bare vanilla candy, which is not really a surprise because I love vanilla scents. And that one was a little fruity twist on bare vanilla, which was nice. But these just didn't all seem like candy to me whatsoever. It was just kind of odd. And then velvet petals candy as well. And that's kind of a look at the new fragrance mist that they have. But I actually didn't buy anything because I had to buy five to get a discount. And I didn't really feel like buying five cents. All right, guys. Just got back from Victoria's Secret. I don't know what it is, but they never just impress me with their fragrances these days. I feel like they used to do such a better job. But lately, since the Untamed collection that they had, I just feel like it's gone downhill. And I was really excited for these candied scents, thinking they're going to be like so good, so sweet, gourmand. But it's always like fruity florals all the time and I'm just tired of it I really am so I liked two of the scents in there the bare vanilla candied is decent but it smells like something similar I don't know it doesn't have a ton of vanilla in it um, and then I love that I think it's the alpine frost I could be wrong that mint chocolate one. I want it so bad I definitely want to get that one but I was not about to spend a five for 40 when I only like two of the scents and I don't want to have three other scents that I don't even care for so I guess if I want those I'm gonna have to wait till an individual sale or maybe pick them up during a semi-annual sale for them because they're nice but they're not a must-have so yeah I don't know I've just been so disappointed in their stuff lately that's why I never talk about them. I never really go there. I just feel like Bath & Body Works does it better. They do a better job. It's not the same things over and over. Not the same four cents. Like, they just, I feel like they should branch out a little bit, you know? Try some new things. We don't always need Bare Vanilla, Pure Seduction, Love Spell in 50 different flinkers. So, that's just my thoughts. I'm kind of sad, though. I really wanted to love those. So, I think that's pretty much it for this kind of shop with me. But now I can show you guys everything I bought as soon as I get home and talk about everything. Okay guys, I have so much new body care to share with you. You guys saw we did kind of the shop with me portion and now it's time to give my thoughts on these products that I have been trying for a little bit of time. So there's going to be a lot of body care, some fragrance in here as well. Just showing all the new things I've kind of added into my collection. So let's get started. Also, if you're wondering about my eye look, I will be posting this look on Instagram. So check that out. It's using the new Unearthly Sorcerer's Smoke Palette. So stunning. So I want to start out with all of the Dove products that I purchased from Walmart. I did get all the scents to try. I was really excited for this new launch. I was mostly excited about this new sugar cookie scent. This is the one that kind of intrigued me the most because I love smelling like cake batter cookies, all the above. But I have to say, this is pretty disappointing. <laughs> now, it did come in a scrub. There's body wash, hand soap, all of that. No lotions, but this does not... This does not smell good to me. It has almost like a plasticky scent to it. It smells very artificial. It's not really giving a true sugar cookie. So I was pretty sad about that one. I really do not like this scent at all. I love the Dove scrubs though. So I was kind of sad about that. If you want like a really good sugar cookie scent, Native, their sugar cookie body wash is the way to go. Not their lotion though because their lotion smells very funky, but this body wash 
I stock up on every Christmas season. I actually got two of them. I love this one so much. I don't think Walmart has a sugar cookie. I could be wrong. I couldn't find it in store, but Target does. And I'll have all of the products that I can linked down below. Now, I also picked up the Peppermint Bark. This one I did also get in the scrub. And this one does smell really good. It actually has like a peppermint, almost chocolate scent, like a thin mint cookie is what this one reminds me of. I really like the scent of this. So it's not your typical like Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint. I like that they add this like almost chocolate note in here, like a dark chocolate. So good. So Peppermint Bark is a winner for sure. I honestly should have got the body wash in that. And I was also really impressed with the Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie scent. Usually this is not something I would go for, but it really does smell so delicious. Ugh, it smells like a true pumpkin pie. This is very creamy. It seems more cookie dough like even than the sugar cookie scent. So good. It is very heavy on the spice though, so make sure you do like that kind of pumpkin spice scent, but this is delicious as well. So highly recommend the uh, pumpkin one and the peppermint. I did grab the shower gels and sugar cookie and the cinnamon pumpkin pie as well. I have to see if I can return the sugar cookie, honestly, because yeah, this was just such a letdown. It was nothing at all like I wanted, but cinnamon pumpkin pie smells just like the scrub. It is so delicious. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Dove Holiday Treats collection. I am overall excited about this and I hope they continue to do some fun collections like this. Let's talk about the Tree Hut scrubs, some new ones for the holidays. I do have the Marshmallow Lodge. I did talk about this in my Target gift sets video because this did come in a set of three that you have to buy it in, but I think everyone kind of overhyped this scent and it's not really living up to the expectations if you're expecting a super sweet marshmallow. This is musky and fresh. It, it's nothing like I would expect this to be. So I would say pass on this if you're wanting more of like a true marshmallow sweetness. This is not it. I don't understand why this was so hyped up. I really don't. But I do love this new Berry Bright one. I think this smells so good. So far, I think this is a Target exclusive. This kind of smells like a fruity shampoo, which I like. I think it's so good. It's not like overly tart. It's really sweet and creamy and has like this nice softness to it. I'm really liking this very bright. I'll have to pick it up in the shower gel as well because that one is so good. Also, I highly recommend their peppermint scrub. I love that one. From Target, I also got their body scrubber that we kind of went over in the video. I wanted to try these. It says that they're supposed to be like way better than a loofah because these are definitely way more sanitary. Loofahs are hard to clean. You have to throw them out pretty quick. So I'm excited about this one. The bristles are hypoallergenic and it also has medical grade silver that keeps keeps the germs away. So I think this is awesome. I can't wait to use that for my shower gel. And then I picked up the Dr. Teal's. This is a warm vanilla Epsom salt. I love just throwing some of this in in the bath. If you have just tired aching muscles, this is so nice. We got like a really nice jacuzzi tub in the last few months, so we've been using it so much lately. And this smells so good. Wow, that is so nice. I have to pick up a backup of this because I think it is limited, but Wow, that is like a really true warm vanilla, super sweet. So I definitely recommend picking up this new warm vanilla. Also from Target, you guys have to grab this Dove scrub as well. I do not know why they didn't make this in a full size, but Dove, we need a full size. Like this should have been in the holiday treats collection. This is their hot cocoa scrub. It only comes in a mini. You can find this at Target in their minis by the beauty and makeup stuff. And it smells like brownie batter, like straight up brownie batter. Wow, I am impressed with this so much. Like of all the Dove scents I have ever tried, this is top tier. I think it's on the website too, so I will link it, but I'm obsessed. I know they had like a deal going on with the minis, buy three, get one free, if it's still going on. Now you guys know I did not buy any of the Victoria's Secret Mist. I just was not impressed this go around, but there's a couple I still have my eye on and I might wait for some of my annual sale to get them if they are in stock, but I don't need them right now, I don't think. 
But I did want to kind of go over these Flora fragrance mists that I picked up. I actually bought these kind of during the end of the VIB sale, so I never did a video on them. And you guys know I love fragrance mist. I love Bath and Body Works. I try so many from so many different brands, so I feel like I have a good feel for when something's really good. These are more expensive fragrance mists. Like they do have these bigger bottles that are $30. And I feel like the scents are kind of light on these. This is Vanilla Skin. This is definitely my favorite from their line. It is a very pretty vanilla, so that is why I did buy the full size. Now, I will tell you, I was really unimpressed with these at first, but they are growing on me because they have a light fragrance overall, but they actually do stick on the skin for hours. Like, I was actually quite surprised. This Vanilla Skin is giving more of a, like, a little bit of a woody vanilla. It reminds me a lot of the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods, I think it's called. I feel like this is a really nice alternative to that. This is just a little bit cheaper, and it does last pretty long on the skin, but since these are fragrance mists, I guess they're not supposed to be super powerful like their perfumes are, but I still think they are pretty pricey, but I do like this vanilla skin one, I will say. Now, I do not like this one from them. I thought this was pretty disappointing, the Amber Haze. I think this is supposed to be a Baccarat kind of cloud dupe. Um, and it just smells so watered down. I don't like it. It does last, but yeah, the scent overall is just very watered down. I prefer the Sol de Janeiro Bea Flor from the, instead of this one. I think that's a much better mist version than this one. This one just was not impressive. At least I just got a small size of that. And then they have Mango Mood, which this is nice, but I don't know if it's for me. This actually is supposed to be a good alternative to Mango Skin from, is it called Wilhelm Perfumes? Oh, uh, it's like a niche brand. I haven't really tried, but everyone loves that mango skin scent, and this one is a clean mango. It's not super fruity and super candy-like. It's very fresh mango and some warmth to it, so it's not really my kind of thing. I'm, I like sweet scents, okay? I do like to smell like candy, and this just isn't giving that, but I know a lot of people that are loving that one, so that's kind of my thoughts. On the floor, I think they're definitely overpriced, but they, they last on the skin for sure. Okay, lastly, these have been going viral on TikTok, and I decided to pick them up. They're by Canvas Beauty, and these are their body glaze. I got three different ones. Um, I think this is the most viral. This is this glazed donuts body melt. So I had to try them. I need to film like a little TikTok on these as well, because they are on the TikTok shop, which... I don't know. I've been trying to keep up with the apps lately, and I feel like TikTok has just become like a huge like advertisement for anything and everything with the TikTok shop added, which I know I talk about a lot of stuff here, a lot of new products, so I know it can be annoying because there's like so many things out there, but I'm just here to find the best things for you guys, but... These really do smell so good. I love the texture of them. They are like a, a true body melt. Right now, it's a little bit hard. You kind of have to warm it up with your fingers a little bit, but it really is like a glaze. It's kind of like a balm to oil texture, and these do smell very good. They are very gourmand, very highly scented, and super moisturizing. So. So far, I am impressed with these. Glazed donut smells amazing. These do go in and out of stock a lot, but they do certain restock days, so I follow them on TikTok to see whenever they're restocking. So hopefully some of these are in stock now. I also bought the Pumpkin Cupcake. Delicious. I might, I don't know, I might even like this one better than the donuts. This is like a limited edition scent. You really don't need a lot of these. They are so powerful. And then I also got strawberry shortcake as well, which this one, it does smell a little artificial, but I kind of love that. It smells like a yummy, jammy, delicious strawberry dessert. So good. So these definitely are worth the hype. If you like gourmand scents, definitely check these out. If you want to smell like pastries, desserts, these are excellent. Other than that, this is kind of it for my new body care hygiene shop with me video. I found some really good stuff that I'm so excited about for the holidays. Definitely some hits and misses, but I will have everything linked down below for you. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these, and if you find anything that you think I need to try, definitely please let me know. I always love when you guys tag me and stuff, but I'm gonna let you go, and thanks so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.